Once they're there, the correlator's job is to find the exact same wavefront of light arriving at, from the black hole at each telescope. Once it's found small timing corrections that line up those waves, we can uh, condense our data, we can average it, and we reduce our data volume by a factor of a thousand. Now we're at terabytes, a much more familiar unit. But we have a lot more work to do. The data still have imperfections at that point, uh, both from the instruments themselves and from the uh, atmosphere above the telescopes. And so we do something called fringe fitting. We actually do this in the cloud with cloud computing, which lets us do it in days instead of weeks. We calibrate the data uh, so that we know exactly how bright our sources are. And I'm speaking of this as though it's just computer work, but this was actually a very significant project for a subset of our team, primarily junior people, postdocs and graduate students. And uh, they deserve an enormous amount of credit for their diligence and uh, uh, dedication, because without it, we couldn't have made an image. Once we're done with that, we can finally uh, go to the imaging stage. Now, imaging with an interferometer isn't as simple as downloading a picture from your camera. The, fortunately, though, the math that we use for it has been around for more than 200 years. The principle is well understood. The methods, though, as with everything with this project, are a little tricky for our data. And so in order to get to the image, uh, there's been years of image algorithms.